Well, as part of the New Zealand International Film Festival, Nga Whaunga Māori Pacifica Shorts 2017 gives Māori and Pacific filmmakers the chance to shine both in front and behind the camera. To tell us more about these exciting films, please welcome to the cafe Leo Koziol and Craig Fussy. Yeah. <laughs> Have you here? Um, firstly, congratulations on putting this together. Uh, really brilliant, Leo. How did you choose the films? How did you find out what you wanted to be included? Well, uh, I'm actually part of the Wairoa Māori Film Festival, which occurs on the East Coast every year in Queen's Birthday Weekend. And so the people in the little town of Wairoa get a sneak preview of some of these films, and a small selection of them went on to be part of the Nā Whanaunga program. And I also want to kind of mention too, so Nā Whanaunga means connectedness between people. So for Māori, it's about your whakapapa, it's about your connectedness as whānau, but also across the Pacific, you know, the whakapapa goes there in the bloodlines across the Pacific as well. So we're all related, we all travelled on the great wakas that you mm. saw in the movie Moana. And so it's just a great time for film and a great selection of films in Nga this year. Yeah, and it took so many boxes, I guess, too, doesn't it? Because not only are you, you know, embracing the talent, but you're also telling some incredibly powerful stories, which is, I think, brilliant. Uh, Craig, what about you? Uh, yeah, how did you choose what was to go into this? Um, more so based around how everything comes together. There are so many submissions that come through and it comes down to a process where we have to make sure that the, the Māori in the Pacifica is balanced right. and at the same time that the um, stories have, um, I suppose, credibility in terms of what they're trying to say and, and how it all comes together. It's a, it's a very interesting process. We, me and Leo talk a lot about the <laughs> what should, what shouldn't <laughs> yeah. go in, but um, I think at the end of the day we um, came up with quite a stunning show. So how long does it take between the two of you to come up with this? Ages, lots of phone calls. Oh, usually at least a couple of nights of watching them. Oh, that sound, doesn't sound well, too painful, yeah. though. And then a <laughs> um, the few debates after the, the fact, uh, you know, around them. And, and like, but I mean, gee, it, we, it, was, a, it was a tough choice this year, mm. actually, because there's some great stories there, really coming from, from the heart and soul of our, our Māori and our Pacifica filmmakers here in Aotearoa. There's a couple from overseas as well. There's one from Tonga. Okay. Uh, and uh, you know, so just wonderful to see the stories that are coming through, and 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 you know, just to see. Well, I mean, there's also one by a Māori director, Renee Maihi. She actually went to New York Film School and made her film in New York City. Wow! wow. And and so like you know, just amazing to see the films that are out there. And you know, props to the New Zealand International Film Festival for giving a platform for these yes. films to be seen in the beautiful new ASB theatre here in Tamaki Dakota. Like yeah, I yeah, no, totally agree. Okay, well let's have a look at some of yes. the offerings that you've got. Um, possum, what did you love about Possum? Oh, what's not to love? Uh, well, so, so uh, Dave Whitehead, he's actually from the village I'm from. He grew up in the East Coast in Whangara and his dad was born in Nuhaka, where I'm from. Right. And so he's actually telling the story of him being six, seven years old, growing up on the East Coast in the 70s, which was actually me growing up six, seven years old on the East Coast in, in uh, the 70s. And, and so like, it's just like a trip back in time and an incredible comedy. Oh, Let's yeah, have a yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a yeah. Look. We have a see. So, boys want to go hunting tomorrow, eh? Somewhere out in those pines, there's this big, mean old silver grey. I've only seen him once. I called him Scar. I hope you boys don't meet him tomorrow. Possum like that. Rip your eyes right out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks that. so good. And David, he worked on he worked on Arrival as well, so doing really big things in the yeah, international the, filmscape. And the Lord of the Rings. <gasps> wow. Yeah. So, so just amazing things going on for our Māori and our Pacifica filmmakers. Okay, and, and let's, let's quickly talk about um, Natalie, this movie Natalie, directed by the youngest filmmaker to have her work accepted to the New Zealand International Film Festival. Is that correct? Well, Kiana Titori was 16 years old when she directed the film. Wow. And so it actually was actually a group called Scripta Screen, went to the Hokianga community, helped a whole lot of people on a marae to workshop their scripts, and her one was selected, and the whole community rallied around her to make Natalie, and it's, it's a real tearjerker, actually. Wow, and Tama, let's talk about Tama. Yeah, yeah, did, did you yeah. like Tama? Loved, loved Tama. Just what did you like about it? 
the aspect of having the, um, I suppose, that difference in, in culture uh, as well as transcending that, uh, that, uh, that hearing impaired factor as well. So getting that from the director and also on screen made it a powerful story. Right, so the director was deaf and it's a story about a young Māori man who is deaf. In fact, uh, should we have a quick look? Yeah, I really mm. like that, eh? Real powerful story too, you know. Jeez, there's so much to talk about. I wanted to talk about the Tongan one too, um, <laughs> but, well, but time has run out. We could, t we could sit here and talk for ages about all of this. Uh, thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming in. Really appreciate it. And Craig runs the Pollywood Pacifica Film Festival, which airs at Pacifica, and they are still taking submissions. That closes at 5 o'clock on the 31st. And if you would like to see any of the films that are part of the Ngā Whanunga Māori Pacifica Shorts 2017, you can find all of the details on the New Zealand Film Festival website.